Hi, my name is Dr. Eddie Ryan. I specialize in diabetes and pregnancy, and today we'll talk about gestational diabetes. We'll cover what it is, what causes it, why we worry about it, and what can be done. When a woman is pregnant, and every woman who is pregnant, there's a placenta and afterbirth making hormones that block how insulin works and raising the blood sugar. The idea is to provide more energy to the baby. Your pancreas has to make extra insulin to keep down the blood sugar. If it doesn't make that extra insulin, up goes the blood sugar, and that's gestational diabetes. The reason we worry about it is that that sugar goes into the baby, and it's as if the baby converts the sugar into fat, so these babies get too big. It makes for a more difficult birth for the mother and for the baby. The baby also gets used to that high sugar, so after birth it's as if it's in withdrawal. It has a low blood sugar, hypoglycemia. The baby also can get jaundice. I have never seen a baby born with diabetes because the mother had gestational diabetes. After the delivery of the baby, the diabetes goes away in most cases. But it's recommended that her blood sugar be checked six weeks after the baby is born to be sure it's gone away. What we do know for the long term though is that your pancreas is not normal. So that over time, particularly if you gain weight, don't exercise, eat the wrong foods, you have a high risk of developing diabetes. But that's in the future. Right now we'll focus on your baby. The first thing that we have to look to is nutrition therapy, your diet. Most people, if you just watch what you eat, the blood sugars will be fine, nothing more needs to be done. We need to know that, so we need you to check your blood sugar, and it should be checked four times a day, before breakfast and after breakfast, either one or two hours after the breakfast, and whether it's one or two hours depends on how high the blood sugar was on your test that diagnosed the gestational diabetes. We need to know that that machine is accurate, so many centres will recommend that you have a check of the blood sugar in the lab and a check on your meter at the exact same time to compare what the lab gets with your meter to be sure your meter is accurate. So we've worked on the diet, we've checked your blood sugars, we've made sure the meter is accurate, there's one more thing we need to do. Anyone who's got gestational diabetes, if you really cut down the food, you can control the blood sugars, but you may end up starving yourself and by doing so may starve the baby. If a body senses starvation, you break down body fat, and that appears in the urine as ketones. So many centres will recommend that you check your urine ketones first thing in the morning to be sure that you don't have too little food, that you're eating enough. And most people who do this can control their gestational diabetes and all will be well. Mm -hmm.